This video describes making and using a calibration curve for the SpectroViz spectrophotometers. The first thing you need to do is make sure everything is all connected together, all power supplies are plugged in, the SpectroViz is connected to the LabQuest 2 module, and then you move on to actually warming up the spectrometer. And so in the sensors menu, you go to calibrate spectrometer and then we take the dark sample okay and take some time for the uh, lamp to warm up to sort of uh, acquire a, a sample of no spectrometer or with no cuvette in the spectrometer or waiting for that to warm up I want to point out that what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using Beer's Law which says that the absorbance, light absorbance of a sample solution is going to be equal to the A, the molar absorption constant. It's a constant value that varies with the molecules and with the wavelength of light being used. Multiplied by B, which is path length. Multiplied by C, the concentration of the species in solution. Now, A and B are going to be constant because th for these types of measurements because we're going to be using uh, different concentrations of the same molecules in solution and the path length will remain constant the cuvette has a one centimeter path length and so essentially A is going to be linearly proportional to the concentration C and that's a basis of using these producing this calibration curve it's important to remember that this works best if the absorbance values you're using are less than one. And so looks like we're about ready to uh, move on here. The warm up is complete and the next step is to place a blank cuvette into a spectrometer. So this is a cuvette that just contains water and we'll tap finish calibration. calibration is complete and so we'll tap OK and you can see we're in we're back onto our main meter screen OK now while well, we're on the meter screen we're going to tap mode then we're going to switch to events with entry and the name will be concentration done in this case our units will be micromolar we'll just use a U for the micro symbol and a capital M for molarity and tap done Okay, we're done with that. We can move on and actually hit OK. Okay, and we want to move to measure the right absorbance uh, on the right wavelength. So to change the wavelength, we tap on this red box and we go to change wavelength. And the wavelength we are selecting in this case is 628.7, 628.7, hit OK. And now we're measuring in the, in the right wavelength. OK, now we can place the first standard solution into the spectrometer. And we already have that standard prepared, so we slide that in. Okay, we switch to the graph screen and we tap the green triangle to begin data collection. And we can see that at that absorbance, at that particular wavelength, there is a measurable absorbance. And so now what we can do is we can tap keep. And 
we're going to enter the concentration of the solution, which I will say in this case is one micromolar. Okay. All right, and then we can remove this and replace that cuvette with an, the cuvette with the a different standard. Okay. And you'll notice that this solution has a different concentration and has a different absorbance at that wavelength. And again, we tap keep. Oops. Keep. And we tap in the new concentration here. So we'll say it's two micromolar. And in this case, in this example, we'll hit OK. All right and we've entered those two values. That's all we're going to do for this. In your case, you'll be uh, used collecting many more points. But once you have all of these standard data points collected, you push the red, click the red stop button to finish the data collection. Okay. And what you could do is you can actually write down the wavelengths and the concentrations sorry, the absorbances and the concentrations for these data points by going over the table tab and actually writing down these values. All right, now we can go to the, uh, back to the analyze menu and we can get a best fit line equation here and so we go to curve fit in the analyze menu okay oops we'll tap over here fit equation we want a linear equation and what we have here is the linear regression through these two points. The uh, correlation is going to be one because straight line goes well through two points. And when you get to additional points is when the correlation coefficient can drift away from one. But nonetheless, having those extra points is very much a good idea. This equation for the line is y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept, okay? Now, what we can also do is determine the absorbance value of each unknown solution. And so we'll place in an unknown solution. Into, this key, into the spectrometer. And we'll go back to the we hit OK here, and we go back to the meter tab. OK, and we can see that we have an, uh, an absorbance value for this unknown. We can take this absorbance value and for this unknown solution and plug it into the equation for the best fit line and figure out the concentration of the solution in the spectrometer in the cuvette cell. And that is how we will find the concentration of our unknown sample.